Okay. Hey everybody, I live, um, occasionally I might have to, like, uh, emergency mute the mic, because I'm still dealing uh, with a lingering cough. I think the medical world calls it the productive cough. That's where you, like, got that phlegm buildup in your throat, in your lungs area, because your body wants to get rid of whatever the remnants are that were giving you shit you know, previously. So, uh, the good news is, is that, you know, the fever is gone. Um, I'm not achy anymore. I'm pretty much a hundred percent now. Uh, I just got that lingering cough. So, uh, I don't know when the hell that's going to go away, but you know, a lingering cough is, doesn't stop me from doing what I you know, do. So, uh, as far as I'm aware, things are pretty much good to go back to the way they were. Uh, and holy fuck, I'm getting a lot of resubs here. Holy shit. Um, I know it's been, it's been a while, so uh, there's, there's a lot to catch up on. So uh, just to make a, 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 a blanketed statement right here, everyone that's uh, wishing me well, and, uh, well wishes in general, thank you very much. Uh, hasn't been a really productive week and a half, close to two weeks now at this point since I was, uh, since I diagnosed with COVID. <coughs> the cough I was talking about since uh Sunday uh the Sunday after no the Monday after Momocon I took the COVID test and it came up positive and then so I look at that I'm processing it I was like wow well, okay this fucking sucks I mean it's only like, it was only an inevitability I mean if, if you go to a convention now especially now even though like the the vaccine's been a thing for over a year and a half at this point you know va- conventions any sort of major gathering uh, a wrestling event, any of that shit, that's still a super spreader event, folks. So you know going in there, you are taking a dramatic risk of catching something, even if you're vaccinated. So I went, I was careful as possible, and I still caught that son of a bitch. And I gotta say, like, I take the test, and it comes up positive, and then I'm, I'm thinking about that. And then just like two, three hours later, man, it just fucking, it mm, mm, fucking slapped me multiple times. Like it, it was like a steep, steep, steep fucking decline and how fast I went down. Like I started shaking. I started getting the chills. As, and before I knew it, I was bedridden and I was under like three different layers of blankets because I was fucking freezing, my guys. Like it was it was bad. So I turned the AC off uh, and then later that night, Nora gets home, starts taking my temperature. Then I got the 104 fever at that point. All right, we got to go to the ER and. They, 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 that's when they take the x-ray and they gave me the two Tylenol and the, the IV bags to rehydrate my body. And that, like one of the nurses there too is like, need, needed, needed to work on proper etiquette <laughs> because they're taking my temperature, right? I'm sitting on this cold ass chair in this cold ass room, sharing the ER uh, waiting area with a bunch of other folks that need help too. I hate emergency waiting rooms, I, I do. It's just like, it's, it's, it's hell on earth. She's taking my temperature and she just com- she's com- here, constantly commenting on the fact that my temperature just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. I was like, can you please stop? Because you're making me nervous. <laughs> like, I know high fevers are bad, but you don't have to keep reminding me that high fevers are bad. I get it. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just fucking dying here, man. Hey, hey, thank you very much for the gift bomb. Uh, but we can talk about, I mean, I don't, I don't want to talk about it because you know, it's, fucking, it's fucking COVID. Well, you get sick. <laughs> it fucking sucks. I don't wish it upon anybody. And please just, just do what you can to take care of yourselves. And please, please practice all the fucking caution out there, especially if you're going to some sort of like gathering. No matter, big or small, don't matter. Put a mask on or uh, uh, vaccinate yourself and fucking hand sanitize everything, like everything, because this shit sucks. Even if you're vaccinated, this shit fucking sucks, man. But, all right, so that put me down for about like a week and a half and I got to get like, because the, the next video I, I'm, I'm working on now, I've had it recorded for a, a couple, like a week ago, 
And I, I just fucking, I, I can't write a fucking script like this, dude. It's like, oh my God. Uh, no, I'm not going solo for this. So like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to jump in the general right now. I just wanted to um, take a few minutes to look at my chat and see how everyone's going. Cause everyone's like, everyone, everyone's here. Everyone's concerned. Everyone's like showing the love and support and all of the resubs and shit. You know, that, that feels great. Uh, hold on a second, guys, before you guys in the Discord start talking, because I realized, uh... Oh, the damn mixer is shut down. Because if they start talking, you guys won't be able to hear them. Well, is also just really low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that. All right, Hold on, this is not letting me fucking unmute the Discord. Can you guys hear Jason right now? Jason, give him a word. Oh. Let's see. Okay, cool, they can't hear you guys. All right, hold on, this is exactly. I don't know why he's doing this. Like, I, I honestly got on, I didn't do shit different. The one I usually do is just to send sometimes the mixer just says, no, I actually, I do, I will not acknowledge Discord. As, uh, yeah, it's like, why? It's like, it's also saying it won't acknowledge my stream deck. I was like, why? Because like, what did I fucking do? I didn't do anything. I literally didn't do anything. But you sound better now. There you go. Come on, you can tell me you didn't hear that. Tell me you didn't hear that. Can you, can you guys, hold on. Can Twitch chat hear this? Yeah, okay, then you guys heard the boom, but you guys can't hear the Discord. All right, hold on a second. God damn it. Ugh. I'm gonna have to reset a uh, wavelength, it looks like. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. If I do that, the, the microphone might fucking flip out. Bear with me for a second, guys. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't get that. All right, hold on. Let me uh, try and reset Discord first, like Jason said. Because I really don't want to have to shut down Wavelength, because that shit's the word. Everything's linked to that damn thing. So if something happens there, and then the, the stream is going to go haywire, likely. What is this fucking background music for this Summer Games Fest, though? Like, you know? Shit fucking weird. All right, well, the game fest is about to start, and here I am fiddling with my wavelength. That's better than Sonic, essentially. Like, man, fuck that, like, the Razor standard, for God's sake. Hey, Jeff, one second. <laughs> what a fucking time for nothing to start fucking it up, you know? Summer Game Fest, a live showcase of what's next in the wide, wide world of video games. We All right, I'm going to see if I can get it fixed, like in between something here, assuming he drops a bomb like at the beginning, because I want to be able to, I guess, react to something. I don't know. hours, we'll give you updates on the games you love, joined by special developer guests, and yes, have a few surprises along the way. I hope so. Now, what I love about this show is that it's a true cross industry showcase. Somebody want to tell Jeff, like, someone get a fucking lawnmower and cut the grass behind him, like, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> the grass is inside the building here to come together as one community that simply loves the art of amazing video games the biggest franchises in the industry are here like call of duty you'll get introduced to exciting new worlds and new teams and we'll make room for small independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight too if we do this right Hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. Look at my spotlight, but it's like maybe five, ten seconds sizzle real bits in between like Gotham Knights and The Last of Us Part One Remake Two. Like so let's get started. That's what's gonna happen, right? Over thirty years ago, Capcom Street Fighter hit arcades, and ever since this legendary All right. Japanese so game Street Fighter Six. Street Fighter 6 is coming in. Because this was revealed a couple of days, no, about a week ago, right? And I didn't really say anything besides, like, being unimpressed by, like, the UI and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm not convinced by the art style yet, because, to me, 
like obviously it's a little more refined it doesn't look that much more graphically impressive or aesthetically pleasing as a high definition fortnite you know what i mean like i think street fighter 5 looked better than this uh i think honestly there's a bit of me that think street fighter 4 looked better but th this is still very early on um I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like looking at this now, it, it, it looks a lot better in motion, but like at a standstill, I just don't like the character designs like I I don't like. OK, no, not the character designs, because the character designs I actually think are really good, especially with that that roster leak that popped up a couple of days ago. Like the character designs are actually fantastic. It's just the aesthetic. I'm not convinced by the aesthetic yet. Like, I love the splashing. I love the, 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 the whole fucking Splatoon thing, you know? It's just that the character models, the, the way they're built themselves, I just, I just don't like it that much yet. It, it has not, it has not grown on me. I'm just on another level. Also, but can we finally talk about how we're finally getting a fucking Street Fighter game that's post three? <laughs> it took them three games, and we're finally getting a, a, a continuity that's like post three. All right, next it's time for a brand new game announcement here at Summer Game Fest. Check this. Sure, but I also have to fucking fix the Discord thing. Okay, I'm just gonna do this on the Wolf of Mirror. This is, this is Last of Us Part 2, 3, but uh, then I'm not missing much. <coughs> I don't know what that means. All right, exiting the Discord. Because now I gotta do this. All right, bear with me. You guys can watch the trailer. Tell me what happens. <laughs> online we found the relay but there was a problem Get that door okay you guys should be clear now hello why is vin diesel here is it was it vin diesel i didn't see it was i don't it know it alien looks like it looks like alien alan looks like xcom no it looks like alien no no that battery pack looks might like be XCOM. batman oh yeah it's alien yeah oh yeah yeah Oh, yeah. Remember, in space, no one can hear you in space. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's Morbius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, looks like everyone can hear you now, guys. So that's a. What were you saying okay, about so Street Fighter Six? Back Gal? to the uh, what about important it? stuff. Well, what about it? Word of the day is mm. evanescence. Ev why? Because it brings me to life. Oh, okay. Cool. Bye, six. <laughs> Oh no, they see there was some sort of robot. And the robot is likely gonna be our savior of this adventure. Oh wait, 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 I think I remember this game. This game was talked about like a while ago. Yeah, Colonial oh, Marines yeah, too. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then the robot becomes racist. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens are like fucking I don't care, black, white. <laughs> I'll kill everybody. <laughs> What is this? Some eighties B movie? They're using cassette tapes. Black, white, Baraka. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There was a Baraka. I was like, who? Who the Baraka? Uh, the, no, I know it's like the idea is like the alien fucking infected Baraka, but I can't help but think that a Tarkatan fucked an alien man <laughs> to produce that fucking offspring. <laughs> How aliens many, double d how that's many a, alien name. games have they made in recent years it feels like this franchise gets so many games ha do they because the only ones i ever hear talked about besides like notoriety is colonial marines because of the, how broken it was at launch and isolation is really fun. isolation is actually really good though they got one last year did it yeah did it i didn't even know about it at all um, wasn't it called like Fire Team Elite or something like that? Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, the one where it's basically three on gets one. Did they say it was yeah, a top down game? That was alien. Yeah, it's yeah, it, 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 yeah. It, it looks a... like Alien Swarm from uh from Valve. Oh okay. Was it like StarCraft? Yeah. <laughs> World premiere. The Callisto <laughs> Pro. Look, so all right. So what's funny as shit is that we saw this thing last last week because of the state of play, right? And like fucking. 80% of us thought it was a Dead Space game. <laughs> it really because it's made by the Dead Space devs, yeah. so it makes sense. So it's like, it's it's not Dead Space. It's Dead Space without being called Dead Space. To, to be fair, I saw the thing on the back of his neck. I'm like, oh. I you know, I, I like, yeah. <laughs> As expected. Well, besides, I wouldn't want to get hyped for Dead Space anyway. 
I can't wait for the PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale 2 to have Isaac Clark and this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Isaac Clark and evil Isaac Clark. <laughs> <laughs> did you know? They God, that game sucked. I just recently replayed it for no reason. Uh, Why for did those. You uh, for those uh, tuning do, in, just a quick I'm doing a DMC uh, video. For those uh, tuning in uh, real quick, because I went live uh, about 10 minutes ago, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I just have a lingering cough, which I might have to beat my mic every once in a while to stop. But uh, I'm almost at 100%, and I'm getting back to work very soon. But thank you very much, guys. No, you're not. Post your go no, no, no. no. No, you're, you're supposed to keep faking it, post your GoFundMe, and then take the money. Absolutely. I didn't make a GoFundMe. <laughs> I can post a I can post the Sonic fan jam <laughs> Kickstarter. That's kind of GoFundMe. That's funny because I like, see like the the infected humans with like the like the, the fucking cysts and the protrusions, and I immediately thought of like you guys ever see uh, Planet Terror? It was kinda, oh yeah yeah it was like the I forgot it was like the Robert Rodriguez. T Tarantino, the Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. With it death was race. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It, with death proof, I think it was the name of the. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. That last part. You know what the depressing part is? What's that? What's that? This is going to be a better Dead Space game than the actual mm -hmm. Dead Space remake. <laughs> Probably. Was there an actual Dead Space remake though? Yeah, they're yeah, the process. And it, it is making a oh. Dead Space remake. You know, like a year or two after they fired Ooh. the entire Dead Space staff. Oops. No, no, no. Because, they know, fired no the they, single player games. No, no, no. I mean, Jason, you're wrong. They fired the entire Battlefield Hardline staff. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that game was actually good. It just got no support and no marketing. It had one of the best. It has the best freaking reload animations. I think that guy's it really dead. does. I probably should be. I am it. the Callisto Protocol. And I thank you for playing Dead Space. I mean, um, Callisto Protocol, where you're in space right, and dead. They're gonna fucking name drop Dead Space in the most weirdest fashion in the game. It's like, wow, this is like <laughs> some sort of after this. dead <laughs> space. <laughs> Credits roll. Yeah, I get what you mean. Me away, so congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Man, we're Let's give it up for Jeff. Who's this? I, I just, I love, I just love like the covers. Just a dude who just came back from his nine to nine job. <laughs> that room is crawling with infected. It's a suicide mission if you go in there. It's like a dead space. <laughs> oh god, that nine to five job is pretty hard. God, I can't see it now. <laughs> The moment I saw the cover, I'm like, wow, this is just a dude just came back from work. Honestly, I just thought it was Death Stranding with an actual gun. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's so fun to do these shows. And to you don't like the bullets? What do you mean? You have guns. No, I say I don't play Death Stranding. That's the joke. Is it, you just brought well, a raw game for oh. Well, you should. <laughs> I think I'm about to <laughs> genuinely depress Jason. <laughs> it's actually... No, I, I, I don't doubt it. It's a very chill game. I don't doubt it. Like, that's what trying I trying to be a horror game. Like, I know that, I know that when I hear it classed, uh, classified as walking sim, Simulator that is both a critique and a compliment at the same time. Yeah. I think Traff said it best is one of the best podcast games you can play. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a, like a gravity gun, but it picks up the enemies and it's chilling, relaxing. Have you missed anything good? Cool. Uh, there was an Aliens yeah. game and Check there was the, uh, Dead Space. The nice ending we have. And Street Fighter. Uh, and Str uh, Street Fighter Six, right, right. Yep, we we got the American we got the American family man. Now we just need the depressed American man. <laughs> Depressed anti family man, I guess. Kid. Yeah, I really want to see more of Ken, man, because Ken is turning out to be the best thing of Street Fighter 6 so far for all the wrong fucking reasons. <laughs> on, the, on the car ride back home yesterday, my friend was actually flooring it to 120, and I looked at him I'm like, What's going on? I'm like, he, she took the kids' read. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let the footage speak for itself. Let's go. I love how he's got a gun in his like, back pocket the first right there. Of the Callisto Protocol. Who, the, the guy or Jeff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the, <laughs> well, you know what? Probably both. But, uh, I'm talking about the guy here. You bitch. Hey, that's what, who said you got hey, my lungs? <laughs> hey, is that a gun in your pocket or are you just dead space? <laughs> <laughs> Man, these marketing campaigns are getting very subtle. I mean, wasn't like Dead Space Three's campaign like just a room full of like mothers getting oh, scared yeah. to death? Oh yeah, they're like looking at the gore images and like, oh my well, god. The thing with Dead Space yeah. is that 
it didn't take long for the franchise to just go pure action. Like they dropped the horror element. Like after the oh, you game. you have the plasmid from uh, Bioshock. Like that's what I remember hearing about Dead Space as a as a franchise that it, it slowly lost its identity by like the oh, it took them one game tops. <laughs> oh shit, it was in the second game. Okay. Yeah, it was no, it was the third game. No, people were no, saying but by the, the second game was more actiony than the first one. Yeah. I thought it was alright. I mean, you can still like it for different reasons. It's just that, you know, it, f what folks liked about the first game, they didn't find in the second or third game, from what I understand. I, st I still remember to this day seeing my wife scared of shit over a fucking son in the second game. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, this looks like a third-person shooter gameplay, all right. Yeah, it was like... Like, I, I, you play one, you play them all, and I don't mind playing these sort of games. My only sort of hope, if I ever decide to play, is like, I hope, at least on normal difficulty, enemies are not fucking bullet sponges. Because I hate that they're shit. They're going to be bullet sponges. I know they're all going to be bullet sponges, but still, it's like... Ew, not cool, bro. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> well, you climb a ledge and you get ducked out like that. Holy shit, I gotta do that now. One second. Ew, what the fuck is it? Is this kale? Kale? Yeah, you know that green shit they sell at a. Uh, oh, okay, like, okay, yeah, the, the, the superfood. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that dip. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that dip. I'm trying to see what you guys mean by dip. Are you talking frame rate? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, there was yeah. a uh, there was a frame so, rate dip there. All right, so my my stream because YouTube heard her uh, is probably like ten seconds behind you guys. Holy Xbox One release date, man. <laughs> oh wow. All right, you you can come back from that. Oh my god, that just happened. All yeah, right, it did, on. Jeff. This October, <laughs> wow. to arrive. That guy died. <laughs> Fucking replayed the clip. One second. And today we're going to show you the world premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. To tell us more, let's head to the port of Long. Modern Warfare with Johanna Eight Paris by technicality. <laughs> I think I, I kind of lost track after the first Modern Warfare Two. Not You're gonna right. lie though, I'm still interested in this because my brother Mark and I played the fuck out of the second Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare changed everything, and on October 28th, we ushered. I can't in believe Ghost is still alive. Call of Duty, <laughs> you see really this shit? To his name. Crash Bandicoot, Tony Hawk, and, and Spyro died for this game. Price, Gaz, Soap, Alejandro. Like I know, like the the, the thing is heard during Call of Duty sucks by default, sure, but you know, I can't I can't. I imagine that the whole entire area for five seconds. <laughs> I mean, it might be green screen. There there is three there is three kinds of Call of Duty players: the one you see online, the ones that actually play zombies, and the one that actually sit. Through the actual like Michael Bay movie, I, got, like, I thought the top and segment the ones of that, that play Warzone. I thought the top yeah. segment of that fucking promotion I thought was a skateboard for a second. Was like, so what are we, are we, are oh just, sweet, play, <laughs> playable Tony Hawk deals. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Ghost and Soap just literally running in on skateboards, be like, "Yo, man, let's play some Call of Duty." I mean, you you, you had Darth Maul in like Pro Skater Three, Boba Fett in Pro Skater Four, Gene Simmons in Underground. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, let's fucking yeah. I need to look this up later. <laughs> I never knew he was in that game. There was like a whole kiss like uh, stage just for that. Look at this guy is actually wearing like proper headgear for this mission. These two chuds are just going naked. One's wearing sunshades, the dick. Hey man, you're gonna catch pneumonia. Put a headwear on. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're gonna get shot in the fucking head. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm the main character. Can you tell? Uh, no, not really. People can't identify our main characters. They have helmets on. The fuck you mean? <laughs> it's a matter of personal <laughs> security, dude. The thing that I can't wait for is this game to like sell absolutely poorly. You no, it's so? gonna sell well. No, I think it's gonna sell really well, actually. Mm, I don't it's know. been years. It's been years since. Don't since, like, underestimate the, the, the power and nostalgia and the general market, dude. I I got a feeling this this game. Well, is look at Modern be Warfare bummer. One. I, yeah, I yeah. Oh, right, Linky, give me some perspective because you work at GameStop. Like, how did that game do? Not. We didn't <laughs> hit our pre-order quotas. Okay. And we had a ton of copies left over. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. I mean, you. I, I asked, yeah. and you gave me an answer. So. <laughs> Modern Warfare One Remastered should have been a slam dunk, and they fumbled the ball so hard. Well, well Modern Warfare One Remastered was like a fucking tie-in game with a game that nobody wanted to play. Exactly. So is this <laughs> being the, sold by? Is this being sold individually? Yep. So this is so this is its own game itself. This is right. like Modern Warfare got rebooted into its own fucking thing, right. and now this is a sequel to that reboot. But Fonz, they can always tie it in with Warzone. Yeah. And I mean, we'll the, smart, do that. The, the smartest thing that Activision did was install a fucking two t like two hundred gigabyte malware on your computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's I see. think if this What's is being sold and marketed separately and not like bundled with something that folks didn't give a shit about, then that itself will drive sales. I mean, I also want to like make it clear. I don't give a fuck. I don't have I haven't played a Call of Duty game in over a decade and a half. Probably what day is 2012. Yeah, 13 years. <laughs> so I don't wait. What was your last Call of Duty game? But Black Ops. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, same. Not even Black Ops 2? Damn. No, not even Black Ops 2. Nope. Black Ops is my last one. Yep. Black Ops is my first and last. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, just more of a Battlefield guy. <laughs> is it weird that I've never played Battlefield? Battlefield's fun. Uh, Especially when you me. do the Jihad Jeep. What? Well. Did oh, did I play? Oh, yeah, you know what? Hold on. Uh, uh, scratch that, reverse that. I did play Call of Duty World of War II with Mark. I think we did a video on that on SGB years ago. You did? Um, you did? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was it, it was a sponsor thing, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Go but um, yeah, but we didn't play that nearly as much or as often as uh, what we'll refer to or uh, Black Ops. Linky, to answer your question, a Jihad Jeep is when you get a Jeep, you strap around with C4, drive it to the enemy, and then... Oh. <laughs> Are you sure yeah. you're gonna describe Phantom and, Pain? Because that sounds like Phantom Pain. <laughs> well, the thing is, is you have a, a friendly drive the Jeep because yeah. typically no friendly fire, so the Jeep will survive the, the C4. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a walking electrode, or <laughs> a walking electrode. <laughs> but um, watch this. Watch this. Battlefield was great until they just ruined the franchise with it becoming a team shooter. Now, I gotta play with other people. <laughs> well, yeah, no, oh, like they there's classes and stuff, and right. you have to to choose heroes, almost like you're playing Overwatch oh, or like Valorant. Okay, I see. Well, it, it was, it is that what they were trying to do? Work. They were trying to capitalize okay. on the Overwatch market. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. This is gonna be the first game that, if you play on PS5, you are mandatory to have an external hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but knowing Call of Duty, yeah. Probably. She has something Probably. in your mouth, Lakey. <laughs> your reaction. <Yeah. laughs> Fucking Scooby, do you react to that shit? <laughs> but no, like, um, 2042, they, they really went to the hero shooter. Well, that game fucking... Well, the game there, was there was many issues bad. with 2042. Yeah. I mean, the game itself was just bad. Between them removing guns that people wanted... <laughs> It, it was to the point that they locked many weapons that people wanted to the uh, the map creator. Yeah, we just crashed. So that you can make like custom like, game modes. Like, well, we're even trying with that boat. We just fucking crashed. <laughs> like, my wait, dude, like, now we gotta stay. Wait a minute, are we on the air carrier? Because everything's moving back and forth a lot. <laughs> uh, no, it's raining. No, nah, this is just Uncharted Three. Yeah. No, this is just M M the beginning of MGS Two. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Did they rock back and forth in MSG? Uh, if I if I recall, there's just like a slight movement just to get the feel of like you're in a ship. But oh, I yeah, this is kind of like one of the final sequels of the RE5. That's right. This is before you. Uh, oh, oh, fuck this! Yeah, fuck this part. <laughs> <laughs> but in Uncharted 3, you can actually get crushed by the containers, and it sucks. <laughs> I still need to play the rest of the Uncharted series. The only one that I played was the Vita game. I don't blame you. Bastard. Yeah. Of all the ones you chose, you chose the worst one. Thanks, man. Also, I mean, it was. I mean, it was fine. Uh, I'll have to take it easy, because guess who else got smacked with bloody cold flu nonsense this week? Did you get COVID too? Uh, well, I tried the test, and instead of giving me a positive or a negative reaction, it just came up blank. 
I didn't even know that was fucking possible. I didn't. I'm dead. It's like, <laughs> it's like, right, give me a yes or a no, not a. <laughs> I was gonna say it just becomes that uh that doctor that tells Mr. Burns like, yeah, no, all the <laughs> you have all everything. <laughs> I'll just chalk it up to, okay, so that means I've got the invincibility code on. <laughs> Dude, can I say one thing about this gameplay footage? Go ahead. Why is the sensitivity so low? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is Modern Warfare 2. It's Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, Dude, they have to I know it's every probably going second. for more realistic, but check how fucking sleek and nothing this shotgun is holding. <laughs> Like, there's no detail. I, I, you know what it is? I play way too many other FPS games where, like, they just make the, the shotgun overly decorative for no fucking reason. And it's like, to yeah. see a normal ass shotgun just looks so boring. Oh, uh, yeah. This is Call of Duty, crazy. Modern Warfare 2, aka Join the Army. <laughs> Surprised they didn't talk about the skill you gave Well, fucking, you disrupted the dimensions, dude. You, 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 well, you shot the satchel and a jeep down in Africa fucking flipped over, dick. That was our only one. Blinky, you can't get the steel book for Modern Warfare 2. It's my Nintendo exclusive. Oh my god, I don't want to talk about that, dude. Yesterday pissed me off. I'm telling you, I I'm telling you. fucking hours for that stupid fucking special edition. I didn't even get it. I'm fucking pissed. I'm telling you, Nintendo needs to go back to the old ways of making a Nintendo New York City exclusive so you actually have to drive all the way to New York. To oh my god, they did do that, did they? We're really excited to welcome. Okay, they did that with a couple like Wii U limited edition. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, I'm Garrett. so pissed about that. But luckily for me, there's going to be another chance I could possibly get a chance to get that thing. Yeah, there's going to be another chance where you can miss it. <laughs> yeah, another chance where you can no, miss it, and the, the third chance is you just finally copping out and buying it from a scalper on eBay. I am not. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to do it. I mean, no, you shouldn't. But still. Soap John McTavish. So I mean, what happened? Like the Xenoblade Three special thing. It went. It just got. It just crashed. It just crashed. Got bottlenecked. Right. Okay. Uh, I, I guess this is low production. Damn. They crashed our Xenoblade website. They must really hate Xenoblade Chronicles. We're never doing this again after this game. Super capable. And then, and then half of the Smash fans rejoiced. Mm. Um, but as far as the well, concerned, um, you know, this, the, the uh, issue was is that, you know, very limited supply. The site can only hold around 50,000 users at a time. They weren't expecting over 500,000 people to all go in at the same time. It's like, Nintendo, what did you expect? I was going to say, it's like, I don't play Xenoblade, but even I know that there's more than 50,000 Xenoblade fans. <laughs> It's a retail environment, guys. Yeah. Come on. They were expecting to the Blade X numbers. If anything, I kind of wish they basically let the other retailers get their hands on that shit. Because when GameStop did, be like, oh yeah, it's only exclusive, but at least GameStop. Can't wait that I'm so excited that we get to show it off. Oh, I'm so pissed. <laughs> Drehana, tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall, Modern Warfare 2, obviously. Oh, yeah. Is this still going? Oh my god, they're still talking yeah, about Call of Duty. Like, they, they, they spent a lot of money to get like 10, yeah, 15 minutes yeah. for this shit. First of all, thanks for yeah, question. Oh, question. So she's dressed uh, as Luigi with a fire flower. It's why is, uh, <laughs> why is bloody, what's his name, Tiger Woods in the background? Hmm. He's DLC. Yeah, he's DLC. Yeah, he's DLC. <laughs> And believe it or not, Ghost in the Middle is played by Tony Hawk. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, it is an extra $30 DLC to, like, cheat on your You're wife. gonna get the exclusive <laughs> Jeff Keighley Dorito Pope skin. <laughs> if you pre-order. <laughs> Actual Dorito Wait. dust on the fingertips. We spared no Fonds. expense. Fonz, which pre-order, though? The Deluxe, the Ultimate, or the Premiere? Oh yeah, like the, how many? The join the army edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even that Niage. <laughs> like me a bonus. Just said, Good luck, kid. <laughs> like how how many like DLC like special editions are we expecting this game to have? Surprisingly, because you think only two, or do you know only two? The worst part is like I think like Call of Duty had one of the best like special editions back in the day, like the old night vision goggles you got from Modern Warfare Two and like the yeah. RC car from Black Ops. Like those are cool special editions. Yeah, when we're seeing that from the community, we featuring Dante from DMC series, um, <laughs> two chips and a Coke edition. <laughs> if my brother Mark is getting this, I'm gonna get it too because I like playing Modern Warfare Two with Mark. That's pretty much where I stay. Like I'm not getting fucking extra DLC shit. Like I'm gonna buy the base fucking game. <laughs> That's all I need. Uh, and then I'll just do online matches with Mark. But Johnny, won't you play Overwatch Two with us? I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs>
I feel like no, kind of conflicted over this. Overwatch too. I'd like a lot. More summer game fest still to go, and now it's time to announce. Look at man, you was talking so long, the grass turned into a fucking desert. Like, holy oh, is shit. this another? Is this another world? <laughs> Thirty years later, <laughs> you talked about it that long, <laughs> and he didn't grow any facial hair. I think he might be a dummy. They were so oh. playable, literally. Was well, this game like out of this world or another world? I think, or is this? No, I'm thinking of something else. This flashback? Yeah, flashback. Apparently. Yeah, it looks like flashback. Holy fuck, I haven't played this game since the Genesis. <gasps> okay. Alright, I'm dead, Eden. What I miss? Flashback to the this power of two. It. Holy crap, they brought that pit pit fall. God damn it, Jen. <laughs> God damn it, Jen. I mean, to be fair, like, flashback, you're gonna be falling down a lot of fucking pitfalls, to be fair. Oh, fuck, I haven't touched the flashback since it was on the Amiga. Christ, God, show Genesis my age. for me. My God, holy shit. Like, God, this thing was on, like, everything. Oh, but Flashback 2 doesn't time. get the COD. <laughs> this game's game giving trailer. flashbacks. <laughs> Almost five years later, I am world for me. I miss world. Oh, sweet, another first person shooter. So, the problem is, like, I gotta, I'm, I might have to refresh the stream because you guys are like 10 seconds ahead of me. Because, I don't know. Do you want the Twitch stream? Is there a Twitch? I didn't find a fucking yeah. Twitch stream because the fucking website. It's on, it's in the, it's in the, the chat. game awards. No, yeah. I looked in the actual, like, website and they just linked the YouTube one. Oh, it's in the Discord chat if you want. Oh, uh, sure, if you can, actually. What is game is this? I want to know what game this is. Is this Castlevania with guns? That would be badass. This looks like, this looks like a, like... I'm doing like some Bioshock vibes from it. It's on slow mode. Looks like a wannabe skill. boomer shooter. Yeah. Oh, no, don't heard, say that. Trap's I heard here. wannabe boomer shitter. <laughs> this looks like Elden Ring, but with guns. Elden Ring with guns? <laughs> it looks uh, like it. Take a bit of Elden Ring. Kind of like the zombies. order. If the order oh, was no. good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if the order was more than an hour and a half long. See, I, I like <laughs> FPSs where like your your right side is a gun and your left arm just does whatever the fuck it wants. Like, give me magical powers, like Bioshock, basically. Yeah. Or uh, Yo, uh, you know what? I'm the, the game I'm actually getting ready to review next. Singularity was also surprisingly decent. <laughs> what? Yep. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Which, which fire? Oh, dude, that's a fucking like. That sounds like a heavy metal album. Dude, you put some heavy metal on the background. That seems like a fucking trip right there. Ah, uh, you lost me. Why is that? What was that series? Oh. At the game store. Which fire? You caught up now. Which fire? Choose uh, your class. Uh, Grenader, uh, Assaulter, the Gunner. All right, we're going to refresh this. This is probably okay, going to play an ad. Shut up, Jeff. Today, um, I can't believe what I saw. Why, oh, why, oh, why are they cutting the grass now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we switched over to the Twitch feed. Now we got another game here. Based off in the space, other no one can space. hear you in space. Is this alien? Are they, are they, what did they just play the alien trailer twice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Gosh. is. laughs> Welcome to Elon's, Elon Musk's colonization of Mars. She left, but she took the fucking kids, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can Masters every, from Street Fighter 6? Every time I see a dude that just chopped up. Oh. <laughs> she took the kids and the potatoes. Like, honest to God, like, I was kind of hoping they'd do something with that. I want a game trailer where we're just, like, we're, we're behind the back of someone. We're following them as they go. They get their nap, snack, and that's it. That's the end of the trailer. Like, we're not going to elaborate on anything else. That just fucking happened. Move on to the next game. You mean pull a Death Stranding? But is that what happened with the other ones? Because, like, some character died, and that's it. They don't fucking explain it, and they just cut to the next game? Well, it just, it, you see, you know, Norman Reedus naked on a beach. Surrounded by dead sea life, <laughs> and then it cuts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. True enough. True enough. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? I still think my favorite photo that came is just that weird thing is like, thank you, whatever the hell that is. Thank you for saving my life. 
<laughs> oh, hi, Troy Baker. Is he going to shove NFTs down her face again? <laughs> Who's Troy Baker? Uh, uh, the twats on the left. <laughs> You're left on my left. <laughs> uh, he announced the hit, the hit voice actor NFT, where you can use his voice in the metaverse, if I recall correctly. His pants don't fit all the way down. <laughs> Where'd they go? Why aren't you wearing socks, dude? Oh, he no, is probably, socks. no, he is. He's probably just wearing black socks. Or some other shit. Dude, get some longer pants. If I I'm glad that Jeff had decided it. not to fucking go ham on the shoe wear this year, though. Although, part of me misses the, uh, the overly 90s chucks that he was rocking last time. Hey, yeah, ever heard of this game called Red Faction? Yeah, think about that, but don't think about it. <laughs> Mind blown. Uh, uh, oh, you mean Saints Row 2, right? <laughs> Is it going to sound like a pretentious idiot again? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, you guys are just blowing a shit ton of money on a game that you don't even know that's going to sell well. First, I mean, obviously, we had this unprecedented event with the pandemic, and that forced the way that we looked at everything as a society, but also the way this industry functioned. But it was also brand new consoles. Hey, look, it's the god of, you know, voice acting himself. Playing field between, like, the AAA studios and the indie studios of the AAA studios. And so, just like anybody else, we got reached out, uh, James Tinsdale, with this... Also, for the occasion, like, since I just hit lunch break, uh, I got chips and salsa. And he walked me through a very brief Doritos? What the experience was he got salt like with that? Fuck you, yeah, know. <laughs> Come on, man. Where's your salsa? summer What's game the fest the pride? <laughs> Question, what kind of chips and salsa do you like? I'm into that, absolutely. And full, like, performance capture and everything. Ah, yeah. Absolutely. All of y'all. New Chat. Studio, Johnny. New energy, hmm. Jason. Everybody. Okay. Chips and, salsa, chips. Like, and me. What kind of chips and salsa do I like? I just like regular ass Tostinos, dude. I love the Tostinos lime. All the new innovations that this uh, they didn't have that, unfortunately. They were all out. Like almost half the chip aisle was out whenever I went last night. Can't say I've ever heard any. It's your basic ass lime tortilla chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what's it is. So we're gonna let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on. But uh, this is a game where you, as the player, you're gonna be exploring, but, uh, discovering. Like now I just got these little Santitas or so whatever. You're moving very fast. Santitas. <laughs> I'm slowly <laughs> chugging down this dull <laughs> pineapple juice. Uh, the, the <laughs> See, I love well, pineapple. I can't juice, fucking drink uh, pineapple juice by itself. Performance for sure. I got one really? Story. No, I, I can't just do not it. just like I just love not a fan of it pineapple. Is just pineapple is my favorite fruit. I love pineapple, especially when it's freshly cut and shit. Yes, mm. all all day. But just regular ass pineapple juice, I can't drink. No, I just don't like pineapple it. with alcohol. <laughs> pineapple with alcohol? Hell no! It's barely eleven thirty in the morning. <laughs> all right, Troy, we get it. This is gonna be the, the same best thing since John? fucking. Order on toast. He said the same thing about Bioshock Infinite. Now, well, did that go down again? Recovery program. It was three <laughs> steps, and he walked us through this incredible. But no, kind of same boat as you, John, just because of the acidity, it'll burn the fuck out of my throat. Yeah, you can't do like most juices because of that, honestly. Oh, uh, even like uh, cranberry. But like cranberry, maybe mm -hmm. cranberry apple. That's one. No, cranberry apple. Cranberry, cranberry apple. I, I drink more with a, a vodka nowadays than I do just drink it raw. Yeah, I mean, this is. I don't drink cranberry or cranberry vodka raw, and I think that's just because of my my inner alcoholic starting to show. <laughs> yeah, can we can we talk? I, actually, I wanted to follow up on something that experiment was talking about because. Bioshock Infinite baffles me because when that game came out, it was praised to hell and high water back. Like that game was considered fantastic, and I still like it. But now it's like a pariah now. Like in the the scene, it's like, and what what happened? Like over the past, it's because like it was because like when they first showed it off, they showed off so much different of how it was, right? And then when it was released, it's just a completely different game. Mm. Like almost Bioshock and name only sort of a spiel. Basically, hmm. I know. I know it didn't do favors with the DLC. That's mm. what I heard. Oh, oh no, the DLC the did a lot of uh, oopsie whoopsies with the older games because of how they tried to interconnect it with Infinite storyline. I said I tried, not succeed. <laughs> so, did anyone else see the space station from two thousand one, the Space Odyssey, or I no? Think so. I mean, you see one space station, you see them all. Well, this one has escalators though. 
Well, this just reminds me of the old fucking market that's been shut down for Honestly, God, I was years. looking at that television monitor. I thought for a second you, I saw you Duck saw Hunt. Duck Hunt? I thought, yeah, I thought <laughs> I saw Duck Hunt, dude. Like, yeah, why the fuck is this guy playing Duck Hunt? <laughs> As I said, you've managed to perfect faster than like travel, and yet you're still using NESs as forms of entertainment. <laughs> Wait, is this the is this the Aliens game again? What the fuck is this? No, this is a different. This is yeah. a different first-person shooter. That's creepy. Apparently, this one with robots. And you're this taking photos this of robots. To, this seems to be a reoccurring oh trend my with God. space station into the ship. I hate it. 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 Routine. Uh, Routine nights at Freddy's. Get back to work, Jeff. Ah, uh, yes. My inferior brothers. Okay. He's like, well, we're making assumptions here. We think that guy is That's dead, but he's actually just getting thrown back into his office to keep it's looking at the security <laughs> cameras when he plays <laughs> Duck Hunt in his downtime. To go, and is now officially back. I can't wait to see more. Now it's time to check in with a very special guest who's been in his fair share of video games, including most recently... So is this the summer of guns and space? Oh, fuck, God damn it. Dwayne Johnson, welcome to Summer Game Fest. Wait. How are you? Wait, what? Oh, God, it's Rock the Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> That's not Kojima. <laughs> Kojima's looking uh, pretty ripped. Is... What, is that, what is that banner state behind him? Project, Project Rock? Rock? Rock something? God damn it. Yeah, Project Rocks, I think it's... This so motherfucker's it filming a video in his gym. <laughs> There's like a really big... It's like, can we, can we get you for like five, ten minutes? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my work hour for him. And <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he's shilling his fucking see, energy he's drink. His, oh, is that his? Is that what it is? Okay. By a lot of nicknames. The Rock, La Roca in Spanish... Um, hi, I'm here to talk about video games, not poking your sugar-laced fucking energy drinks. Jeff Kelly, you fucking candy ass, I'm here to challenge you to a fucking championship fight. <laughs> and then instantly Stone Cold just comes in and just fucks his shit in. <laughs> Alright, are you ready for your energy drink? Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? As the foundation. You know what I respect and simultaneously bothers me about The Rock getting older is that his body is so fucking jacked, right? But it's textured. There's there's definition there. His face is still sort of like teetering on the edge of baby face and guy in his 50s. I kind of wish he was more rugged. You know what? This is actually a custom model that they made, Johnny, for the stream. He's like, his face his his face now is like right in between of Hollywood Rock and X7 Rock. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Taylor, I like that. Maybe face. There we go. That's what we're calling it. We're calling it maybe face. It's like when you're teetering on the edge of in your mid-40s to your 50s and it kind of, his face doesn't fit with this fucking body. It's basically what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. You know what? You know what he's missing? He's missing his like patented adventures outfit <laughs> and a mountain man beard. Maybe face part of the. Oh God, he's talking about a Howard Power. <laughs> also, he's sweaty from like the neck down. <laughs> yeah, but his head, his head says completely dry. Head, shoulder, knees. Oh yeah, he's a uh, Black Adam. Do you smell what the rock is drinking and then he fucking plugs his energy drink? Then he's sitting right there! Well, um, so why are we here with the rock? I walked out to grab a Coke. <laughs> you know what? I was kind of not paying attention to myself. Is it just gonna be the Black Adam shit? Is there a Black Adam? Are they bringing back tie in license games? Starting with Black Adam? Can you hear me? Or are they just. Yeah, we can hear you. They're just, they're just gonna show us the Black Adam trailer. All right. Well, this is gonna get the video flagged for what it's worth because this is just straight up the the movie trailer. Yeah, w, WB has no fucking chill. Yeah, they have no chill with this sort of shit. So this is gonna get the video flagged. So anyone that, that that's tuning in now and uh, uh, resubbing and showing the love, I appreciate you. But I ain't making shit off this video now. <laughs> hey, can, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Ryan. So many freaking problems today. Okay, well, that's not the time and place for it. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> okay, if you want to talk about something, I'm here for you, so. We just had a dip. Oh. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, straight to the next roll for me. Okay. Oh, what oh, if the, the fucking Game Awards got copyright strike by, <laughs> by fucking WB? <laughs> 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 Jeff was like, oh my god, you're busting my balls here. 
Kojima wouldn't do this to me. A surprising lack of Kojima in this fucking stream so far. Usually, yeah. like, Jeff, yeah, usually Jeff is all up and is like, his girl. It's okay, it's gonna happen. Why all the right. fuck is Kratos wearing a fucking, like, yellow <laughs> raincoat? <laughs> to be fair, a lot of people are really interested in this game because there's a couple of customers that, you, that like, talks nothing about this game, but it's just, like, the base game was just kind of nothing, but now with this new DLC, they're gonna be adding, like, a ton of shit to it, so... Hopefully be good. I don't love her. Her, 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 the woman redhead. Uh, doesn't seem nice. Did you have a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, it's uh, like, when doesn't he have one? Have a kick. Jesus. Brace for the it. The unbreakable. <laughs> the rock. Wait, no. <laughs> oh, okay. No. I, thought, I thought he was talking his energy drink again. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rock the Dwayne Johnson here with my new energy drink, Nibiru. Tune in for the in game reveal. Wait, they're going to show the in game? What the fuck? <gasps> oh. It's alright, Linky. It's not the pre order page. You can calm down. It's fine. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here to plug my new, my new <laughs> drink here. Something. It's called G Fuel Charcoal. Yeah, this is what Edition. they meant, though, by the Indie Sizzy Roll, because this, this is the Nintendo showcase. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, I just, I just wish, like, where it said Xenoblade 3 just cut off to that Yu Gi Oh clip. It should have been me! Not him! It should have been me! That's a Frogan. No. It's oh, just, it's Fall Guys. It's Fall yeah, Guys. There we go. Man, talk about a game that just fell off the. Well, I guess it fell, but it's appropriate, but. Like. <laughs> it. It dropped the off so fast. Like the game, the game fell off once the fucking two B DLC dropped. Yeah. No, you you think though? I think it was earlier, man, because this game took off around the same time Among Us was also like skyrocketing back into popularity, and it's like it it, it unfortunately got eclipsed so hard that it was just downhill from there. I mean, I think this like lasted what a month, maybe two. Not even, yeah, but about uh, like around that. And it's like it's a shame because the game is still fun. It's just that nobody fucking talks about it anymore. Well, there are two issues. What's, what's, what's up? Or I guess three, technically. Okay, go ahead. One, the seasons were just kind of slow at coming out and bringing yeah. new content. Uh, two, you started having issues with cheaters. Quite oh, the, 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 the bots, right. That was more on the... Uh, the or, or just people flying. Oh, yeah. But that was the, that was the PC issue at first, wasn't it? Like, remember that being yeah. less of an issue on yeah. consoles? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So and then three, it never got memed. You need to become a meme to survive nowadays, you know? <laughs> Get Morbius. And now, fucking Morbius lasts the, longer than Fall Guys. <laughs> and now the new problem, it's free to play in Epic Game Store. Oh boy. I mean, it was technically free to play if you had PlayStation Plus when it first came out. <laughs> That's how I played. That was like the main way that people got into it was through PlayStation Plus. Frost Giant, St Frost Giant Studios. It's Icy, the game. Oh, God. <laughs> Aurora Borealis. Aurora at this Borealis. <laughs> in this stream? <laughs> at this day, at this time of day, or time of day, time of night. Fuck. Signals breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm getting that weird record game vibe. If anyone remembers that game, Ooh. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's it's like the Xbox One exclusive that had like Metroid Prime developers and also KG Nafune was involved with it. I know, so, it's but like, who? <laughs> no one talks about Recore. Command, I may be onto something. I'm amazed you even remember it. I know it just hit me like a fucking truck right now for some reason. I, honest to God, I forgot Recore was even a thing until you mentioned it. That was the people, um, people also forget about hmm. Ash. No, yeah. it, no, you made that up. <laughs> that that didn't actually exist. They're rebuilding the shield. I have it, command. It's true. You do put the lime in the coconut. 
Congratulations, you finally have your job stone. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> The trailer has like, the the trailer has like no oomph. Like uh, the voice it, acting is kind of off in this. It's not that. It's just the sound design in general. It's lacking that pow factor. Hang tight, Doc. I've got this. There's no weight with these animations. This feels like an iPhone commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this this is, yeah, 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 this, yeah. This is a game that will be God. sponsored, like in a video. Oh, I totally forgot I registered to Diablo Immortal, like, years ago, and then suddenly I wake up to it being installed on my fucking phone. I should check my phone for any unnecessary apps like that. Yeah, that shit is like 4 what? gigs, dude. It's like, insane. This is just Heroes of the Storm. There's Diablo right there, and then there's D.Va. Yeah, the cinematography for this trailer is off. Like, I feel at some points I'm watching uh, animatic rather than an actual trailer. Especially with some of these angles that they chose. Objective nice. one, protect the pilot. <laughs> oh, wow, you're almost close to that title, Stormgate. Registered for 2023 beta. beta. So it is a bootleg Heroes of the Storm. It's... Also, why did the frame rate drop when they were showing the website? <laughs> it's a pretty big trailer. Have it, Tim. Congratulations. So uh, the color difference from real? like that uh, orange and white details. just is <laughs> off. So, first of all, congratulations. Oh, especially the white, the blue, orange, blue and orange. Are exactly yeah, complimentary. again, like it, Stormgate screams uh, a game that content creators will sponsor. You got use the fucking code now and you get 5,000 free gems. Uh, and you can um, play as my favorite character that I play all the damn time. I, I'm serious. Bro, director and CEO, that's never a good sign. Announced so early at the trailer was in beta. <laughs> Hasn't finished rendering Wait. the whole thing and blends it yet. Wait, what do you mean you just took my project? I wasn't done with it yet. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this top 10 Mario jumps. But before we begin, here is a quick ad for the game Stormgate. I love this game. Mm -hmm. My favorite character to play is Hero with Mech. Play this game. Please, I need, I need to pay the bill this month. Absolutely, <laughs> John. Yo, what's up? A trailer in beta? That's basically Tom Cruise's The Mummy with the original trailer. Oh, right. I, I remember that, too. And I remember Wait, laughing my fucking ass off. I remember fucking my, <laughs> laughing my fucking ass off when I heard that shit for the first time. Because this dude, like, this, the, the balls on these on these studios to release that trailer, whatever it was. Like, I, <laughs> like when, the, when the plane is crashing and he's tumbling and it blatantly plays the same scream effect twice in a row. Like, you didn't think people would catch that? <laughs> But they accidentally played that in theaters because I remember laughing my ass off in the theater <laughs> watching yeah, that. These are still That's <laughs> awful. Being worked on, but some shots of uh, actual assets that we're building in Unreal 